Hi, my name is Jingye, and welcome to my lightning talk on the classification of carbonaceous meteorites using machine learning under the mentorships of Drs. Cleves, Prabhu, and Chin. For a bit of background, carbonaceous chondrites, or CCs, are a class of meteorites that are rich in organic material, including carbon and clay minerals. They are particularly interesting because they preserve evidence of early solar system organic chemistry and can therefore provide information on the chemical processes that may have kickstarted life on Earth. The image on the right depicts the formation processes of various asteroid and meteorite types. For this project, we were interested in those labeled as chondritic meteorites, which generally form when dust and other small particulate matter accumulate in the primitive asteroids. The current classification of these CC meteorites depends mineralogically on the degree of which they underwent aqueous alteration or reactions between organic matter and water and extreme temperatures. We attempted to describe the organic contents of novel CCs through mass spectrometry data, which quantitatively measures the mass-to-charge ratios of molecules in a sample. A large part of our project focused on building a machine learning pipeline that takes in raw mass spec data as input and clusters them according to their mass-to-charge ratios and intensities. Through this block diagram, our input was 24 meteorite samples, including CCs and Mars meteorites. We then went through pre-processing of our raw data, which meant creating a matrix structure that represented each of our samples and simplifying the structure in order to perform machine learning tasks. Next, to understand what the most important features are of our data set, we applied three dimension reduction techniques. PCA, or Principal Component Analysis, focuses on retaining a significant amount of variance in the data. MDS, or Multidimensional Scaling, focuses on retaining pairwise distances, or dissimilarities between pairs of features, and autoencoders and decoders focuses on retaining the important features through data compression, and through each of these reduction techniques, we applied four clustering algorithms. To delve a bit into our outputs, let us focus on two of our dimension reduction techniques and two of our clustering algorithms. Upper and lower plots divide our outputs through applying PCA and MDS. Left and right hand plots divide our outputs through k-means and k-metoids. Circle-shaped data points are our CC meteorite samples, and star-shaped data points are our Mars meteorite samples. Red X points mark the centers of our clusters. While k-means and k-metoids work similarly in how they cluster samples, k-means clustering minimizes the average distance between samples themselves, while k-metoids clustering minimizes the distance between the samples to a cluster center, defined as the median value of the cluster. As you can see in our outputs, there are three distinct k-means clusters and four distinct k-metoids clusters, while through PCA, each of our clusters were distinctly defined and consistent among our group members, there were inconsistencies through MDS, and throughout the three of our dimension reduction techniques and the four of our clustering methods, we have determined that PCA works the best with our meteorite dataset. Four of our sample points were shown to be outliers throughout our clustering. We are currently investigating why these particular samples are outliers, but to assess the spread of the remaining 20 samples, we have removed the outliers and reapplied our pipeline. As an example, on the left is our PCA and k-means output using 24 samples, and on the right is that using 20 samples. As you can see, there is a broader spread of the remaining 20 samples, and there are four distinct clusters that are relatively more evenly distributed. So now we have a machine learning pipeline that takes in raw mass spec data as input, pre-processes the data to make the dataset easier to analyze, applies dimension reduction techniques to keep the most important features, and runs the samples through various clustering algorithms for a visual representation of our CC meteorites. Additionally, our pipeline is not only expandable to any number of samples for input, but it is also applicable to any mass spec data, meaning that our built pipeline is not limited to just meteorites. Our next steps would be to investigate the reason for the outliers, whether they share similar features or not to become outliers, and to delve deeper into the interpretation of our results. This would include finding the prominent features or the defining mass to charge ratios that lead to clustering. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to my short talk.